Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and the Prime Minister of Japan. Thank you all. Please be seated. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, as I said on the South Lawn, we are delighted to have you here in Washington. You made the hard decision to help realign our troops. We both agreed that it's very important for us to remain united in sending a clear message to the North Korean leader that, um, first of all, launching uh, the missile is unacceptable. There's been no briefings as to what's on top of the missile. He hadn't told anybody where the missile's going. Now, he has an obligation, it seems like to me and the Prime Minister, that there be a full briefing to those of us who are concerned about this issue as to what his intentions are. That makes sense, doesn't it? That's a reasonable thing for somebody to do. You know, another interesting opportunity is over time to uh, work on missile defenses. Uh, you know, the Japanese uh, you know, cannot be, afford to be held hostage to rockets. <laughs> And uh, neither can the United States or any other body who loves freedom. And so one really interesting opportunity is, um, is for uh, uh, to share and uh, cooperate on missile defenses. Is for uh, uh, to share and uh, cooperate on missile defenses. Um, so to the さまざまな市民がの国を働くかけをしようと北朝鮮自制の止めを仮に万年寺ミサイルを発射するようなことが北朝鮮に起きたらそれは様々な圧力というものを話し合いました僕は同一の国は変わるかということは言わない方がいい